Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today, wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk a little bit about what's going on with the World Economic Forum. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about other world events, and I'm going to mention Ripple at the end. But I'm going to list this as an XRP video so all of you get the notifications. So India, embedded chips will roll out 2022 to 2023. The issuance of e-passports using embedded chip and futuristic technology will be rolled out in 2022 to 2023 to enhance convenience for the citizens in their overseas travel. Take notice how it's to enhance convenience. They're going to follow this in other countries as well. And like I said, I'm never getting a chip. I don't care how much they want to push it. Davos Watch, USA Climate Envoy John Kerry claims that the World Economic Forum globalists are the select group of human beings touched by something at some point in their lives that caused them to have a savior complex. He calls the experience extraterrestrial. Is he saying that globalists were touched by God? Are you kidding me? Look at their agenda. I believe they were touched by the devil. And their agenda is nothing but evil. Pure evil. Breaking bankers and regulators at World Economic Forum Davos express concern about Bitcoin adoption and call for urgent regulation. Like I said before, if Bitcoin poses a threat to CBDCs, they will regulate it out. I still believe that Lightning Network is a Trojan horse. Strengthen global cooperation in the metaverse. So using metaverse technologies, we are pleased to create this global collaboration village in cooperation with Accenture and with Microsoft, Klaus Schwab. So if they can't get into your kids' heads in the schools, they want to get into their heads in the metaverse. I see this as evil as well. World Economic Forum declares a planetary and justice crisis. So now all of a sudden it's no longer a global crisis, it's a planetary crisis. It sounds so much better, but yet it's still to push their same agenda. Climate change is bullshit and we're starting to figure it out more and more each day. Sure, we know what they're really there for. Prostitutes gather in Davos for an annual meeting of global elites. So the global elite tackling the world's greatest problems, including gender inequality, at Davos Summit are fueling a surge in prostitutions in the Swiss resort town. Demand for sex work skyrockets each year at the meeting of world leaders and business tycoons who jet in from all around the world to rub shoulders with each other. Now the girl they pictured here, I feel is way too old for most of these globalist elites. According to Klaus Schwab in the World Economic Forum, the pedophilia epidemic sweeping the world is actually nature's gift to humanity. Is he kidding us? Whatever demons led adults to lust for kids is a satanic choice made by them to move from imagination to actual abuse. That is disgusting. And guess what? The New York Times and CNN pushed this narrative. The New York Times, always at the forefront of the globalist agenda, ran an op-ed arguing that pedophilia is not a crime. According to the Times, civil rights protections must be extended to pedophiles. Without legal protection, a pedophile cannot risk seeking treatment or disclosing his status to anyone for support. Not to be outdone, though, CNN countered with an article proclaiming that pedophiles are not monsters or social deviants living in the shadows. According to CNN, it's high time for society to update its image of pedophiles. And these people think that they were touched by God. They were touched by the devil. Bill Gates says injecting our food supply with Myrna vaccine will stop the vaccine hesitancy. And again, people will call you a conspiracy theorist for pointing this out. But it's no longer conspiracy theory when these people are talking about it openly. And they're pushing it into our food supply now. I mean, come on. There, this has to be stopped before it's too late. New Moderna marketing new Myrna vax for RSV. Based on 64 people, they're deeming it a wild success. I will not take this vaccine either. And I no longer trust the flu vaccine because they push it so hard. It makes you not want to take it. You know, I watched New Year's Rock and Eve this year. And this will be the last year of it for me. 
First off, they had the president on there with his wife pushing the vax. On top of that, it's no longer New Year's Rockin' Eve. It should be New Year's Woke Eve, in my opinion. That has not been the same since Dick Clark has died. And it's a shame. In other words, were World Economic Forum gonna cyber attack the world? The World Economic Forum is predicting catastrophic global cyber attacks. And you know what will happen here? A cyber attack will happen and they will pl either blame Russia or Iran or China. It happens every single time. Like I said before, the World Economic Forum is behind all of what we see happening in the world. These are very evil people. Our faith leaders know that this crisis is much more than physical. We have a deeply wounded spirit as a people, clown at the World Economic Forum, lobbying for a one-world religion. Like I said before, I'm not a religious person. I believe in God, though. And I believe people should have their choice of whatever religion they want to choose. And I said it before, that this all comes down to one thing. Them controlling every single aspect of your life. And it's based on hypocrisy. You know, somebody once said to me in a message that my channel has been taken over by God in the comments section. Well, let me tell you something. God is always welcome in the comments section. I don't censor the comments either. If somebody says something bad about a video I made, I leave it there so other people can read it. I'm not about censorship in any way. But this has to stop. I mean, this whole World Economic Forum agenda is the most evil thing I have ever seen in my life. Just in, allies provide heavier weapons to Ukraine, says NATO Chief Stolzenberg at Klaus Schwab's World Economic Forum. Of course, they want he to provide heavier weapons so they can keep this war going, so they can keep profiting off of it. We've seen what happened with FTX. We know the entire war now is all centered around money moving around the world. And I feel bad for the Ukrainian people. They're the ones really suffering in all of this. This is the largest tire graveyard in Kuwait. The World Economic Forum don't show you scenes like this in their climate agenda. But you should be worried that you're not using an energy-saving light bulb. I mean, come on, look at the size of this fire. And yet, they don't want you or me driving a gas-powered car either. And this is just one country this is happening in. China pollutes the planet every single day. I'm sure Russia does as well, as well as other countries. But yet, they're so worried about me and you, you know, turning on the lights in our house, turning on the AC, driving a car. It's hypocritical. An obvious point about the diversity of speakers on the World Economic Forum discussion panels. None of the participants openly disagree with each other. Davos is not about dialogue. It's about directing the narrative. And everyone who participates is on board with the agenda. And that's what I said before. You never see big arguments break out over there at the World Economic Forum because everybody there has the same agenda. Make as much money as you possibly can make and enslave the planet. Follow the same agenda. And again, it's all centered around climate change. I wonder if the prostitutes that are there accept carbon credits as payment. I thought Ripple was not part of the World Economic Forum. What happened though, bro? And we see here, Ripple's there on a mission to sign up more potential clients. In the brochure, Ripple is described as doing for value what the internet did for information by using blockchain and cryptocurrency technology to improve financial efficiency, equity, and inclusion. In addition, it says, Ripple is also creating future blockchain and crypto use cases for governments, businesses, and consumers. And I feel that Brad is not on board with all of this agenda. He doesn't speak like a person who's pushing climate change. Sure, Ripple is all about carbon credits but that's because it's an industry that's going to explode at some point the reason i continue to invest in xrp and i will continue holding xrp is because i feel we are investing with the elites they don't lose money that means we will get rich off our xrp at some point davos why world economic forum focus on crypto regulations or spectacularly fail 
and they're pushing regulations over there right now. There can be no doubt that regulation of crypto ecosystem is required and it should be a priority at this year's World Economic Forum in Davos. Should those in attendance at the World Economic Forum not adv advance the agenda of crypto regulation as a result of 2023 summit, they will have spectacularly failed, he said. And I feel that Kloss already has regulations he's ready to hand down to all of these leaders that he put in power throughout the world. They want to regulate crypto in a way that uh, helps them, not that helps us. It, they want to make sure Bitcoin is gone at some point because it poses a threat to a CBDC. They want to make sure certain cryptocurrencies skyrocket in value. I'm sure, you know, Klaus Schwab has a lot of Ripple shares, a lot of XRP. I'm sure the other elites do as well because Ripple is the one company that is tied into the entire banking system. At some point, XRP is going to move all the money. That's why I continue holding it. And now that I see stable coins are going to come before CBDCs, it looks like we might be able to enrich ourselves before the CBDCs roll out. That's why I'm always telling you, you need to enrich yourself while you still can. In this video, I feel I covered a lot of things. And in this video, I wanted to point out a lot that on the ways that the World Economic Forum thinks. They think that this, they were touched by God to save all of us. But I believe any company or any organization that wants to enslave all the people in the world and depopulate us, they're not touched by God. They're touched by the devil. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching my videos. Sometimes I get a little bit off point. I don't use a script, so you get the real me every time I make a video. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.